guys, today I will be making my first ever watercolor chart. Recently, I've joined an online free watercolor painting course which is called Show Me Your Florals Watercolor Basics Course which is organized by the Happy Ever Crafter, Stephanie Ferenbach, and Karin of iPad Lettering. And for its first day, I learned how to mix colors and for our first project, we are tasked to make a color chart. So here, I will be making my first ever watercolor chart. For this watercolor chart, I will be using my Princeton shader brush, size 6. And for the colors, I will be using some from my Pebeo Aquarel Half Tons and some from my Bento Picasso by Tokyo Finds. For this watercolor chart that I will be making, I will be using 9 colors which are Lemon Yellow, Orange, Red Cadmium, Alizarin Crimson, Mulberry, Violet, Cobalt Blue, Thalo Blue, and Thalo Green. As you can see, I first prepared a template for my watercolor chart and I have written the color names on the upper part and on the left side so I won't get confused when mixing the colors later. In making a watercolor chart, you will simply fill in each of the squares with the color produced from mixing the color on the side or left axis with the color on the top axis. I actually didn't notice right away that my camera angle was not correct. So the last two squares for Thalo Blue and Thalo Green on the bottom were not captured on the screen. So why make a watercolor chart? Making a watercolor chart is actually very helpful not only for beginners. It will help you to have an overview of the mixing range of your watercolors. It will also help you understand and see the many different kinds of color combinations you can make from the colors that you have and most especially when you are looking for a certain color or a certain shade. I actually noticed this one late that for every mixture I was able to form, it actually fits two squares on my watercolor chart. So from here, you would see me use the same mixture twice.
Making a watercolor chart is actually a fun thing to do and a fun way to learn and understand the concept of colors and mixing colors to form new colors and shades. And anyone, even without prior knowledge of colors and watercolors, can easily do this. I actually did enjoy while doing this, and I'm sure you would also enjoy doing this if you will be trying to make your own watercolor chart. And while doing this watercolor chart, I also realized that it would be much better to just use one color palette or one watercolor brand while doing a watercolor chart because it will allow you to maximize or to see the wide range of colors that you can actually produce from one watercolor palette. And if you are interested in learning about the basics of watercolors, I will be sharing with you on my description box below the link on this free watercolor basics course that I have joined which is arranged by the Happy Ever Crafter. I'm almost done and I hope that you enjoyed watching this process video of making my first ever watercolor chart and if you still haven't subscribed click the subscribe button and don't forget to like and comment and click that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I 